Amen. We Amen. love your testimony. Amen. 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 When you got saved. Amen. Amen. It happened to you, right? Amen. So what happened uh, to this guy was uh, born and raised in, let me check my car. There we go. Uh, uh, in East LA and uh, never was in church. The only time I was in church was uh, for my mom's funeral service, Catholic service in Latin. And my brother and I heard her name. They said, did you hear her name? Did you? That was her name. They said her name. And so that's how we uh, were exposed to that. And my dad said, there's two kinds of people in this world, those that go to church and those that don't. We're the ones that don't. And I said, okay, dad, you must know. Amen. So that's how I was raised all the way up until uh, my time uh, leaving home. And I got involved in reading the New Testament, Scott. And I would be in the chow line and I would just start reading Matthew. Then I'd read Mark and I'd say, man, look at the similarities. Learning about Jesus, but never knew Jesus. Amen. Amen. And so I ended up uh, going to the, I was the only one from the West Point Prep School that went to the Air Force Academy. You can go to any service academy. And I said, boy, that place closer to home, flying mission, newer place. Tradition. I don't know. I'm not much into that coming from East LA, right? What's that? And so uh, we went to. I went to the Air Force Academy, and uh, during my summer training, I uh, was uh, given a, a group of cadre members for three weeks, and there was something different about them. There was just something different about them. You've heard that before, and uh, and I come to find out that they knew about Jesus. Amen. So they talked about Jesus, and I was still reading my Bible, Robbie. In at bed, uh, when they shut off the lights, I was the guy reading with the flashlight. Now already, now progressed to Romans, so I'm reading Romans, and I'm going, "Wow, this is some good stuff." And so I'm just reading through that, and then on the day that we were accepted into the cadet wing after the summer training, I uh, was given a phone call. Hey, Mr. Greeny, would you like to come to a cadet Bible study? And you don't ever say no to an upperclassman. So he said, yes, sir, I'll go. And so they uh, escorted me down there to this place. And, and it was a, uh, a nice Corvette going down there. And it was nice. And, and then all these people were talking about, and then I saw a lot of the cadre members. And they were talking about their summer and how they were uh, giving God the praise and glory for their summer. And I, here I was, uh, no hair, ball cap, t-shirt, uh, fatigues, and tennis shoes. And then they had some cookies after it was all over, and I'm holding a cookie, right, John? <laughs> and punch. And the guy said, would you like to talk? And I said, yeah, I'd like to talk. And the guy was uh, turned out to be one of the only ones that uh, gave a confrontation, a uh, soul-winning hey, message. Man. And that's what he was. He was a confrontational soul winner. Praise the Lord there for them. Amen. And uh, he talked to me about my sin, and it was ever before me. And Doug, I'm telling you, it was like I knew that I sinned against God. And my sin was against God. And I said, what am I going to do? And so I felt hopeless. And then he talked about the, the wages of sin. He was just taking me down the Romans road. Amen. And then he presented Jesus like I had never heard before. I had heard about him, and now he was telling me about Jesus died for me. Amen. And all my sin he took, past, present, future, all sin mm -hmm. under the blood. He, he, he gave me the gospel like I'd never heard before, Ron, and then he went to Romans 3.23. Not really a salvation mess of verse, but it really spoke to my heart that night. I stand at the door and knock. If any man open the door, I will come into him and sup with him and he with me. And I said, that's what I need. Amen. And I bowed my head and trusted Jesus Christ as my Savior. Amen. So I tell people the same day I got accepted into the cadet wing as a freshman on the 6th of August, 1977. I got accepted into the kingdom of God as a child of God. Amen. Amen. Amen.